and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard, and in today's tip show, we're going to look at Waterminder for iOS. At the end of last year, I started getting headaches towards the end of the day. Once I realized that they were going away with a glass of water, I realized my problem was pretty much not drinking enough. Of course, I could have just stuck up a post-it note and said, drink more water, but I'm a nerd, so I decided to solve this problem the nerdy way, with proper reminders, blogging, and everything else. So I had a look on the App Store, and I came across an app that I downloaded years ago, and it turns out is still a great app today, Waterminder. Let's take a look. The first thing you see when you open Waterminder for the very first time is a little tutorial. This is how Waterminder calculates how much water it thinks you should drink every day. Of course, it's not a medical professional, but in order to do this, it will need some data. Now you can either input this manually or you can grant it access to the health app to do so. Here, I'll turn on all the categories. As you can see, it wants to write how much water I've drunk, but it's also going to read how much water, just in case I'm using another app as well. It's also using my date of birth, my gender, and my weight to try and calculate how much water I should be drinking. Now here I need to enter my name. All the other information has been populated automatically for me, so now I can calculate my goal. Here we go. I'm supposed to drink 1,893 milliliters a day. It's using milliliters because my iPhone is set to the UK and we tend to use metric measurements here most of the time anyway. You can change the units of measure in Waterminder to use something else. So for example, if you would prefer to have ounces, then there's both UK and US available. Next, there's a quick tutorial, which we could go through, but the point of today's tip is to show you Waterminder. So I'll skip it. Now I'm ready to use Waterminder. So let's hydrate. Waterminder wants to send me notifications. This is because it reminds me at periodic intervals throughout my day that I should be drinking water, one of the key features that I like about it. So I'll allow that. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.